Welcome back to the Peak District. I'm just stood now at the end of uh, Millstone Edge at a place called Surprise View, which I'll uh, pan you around and show you in a moment. But yeah, it's uh, quite a nice day today. It's quite hazy. It's not cold. Not quite as beautiful blue skies as it has been, but that's well, pretty good. So today I'm going to follow up uh, Millstone Edge. Going to take in uh, Colwark Fort, High Tour, and well, any other places I can find on my ramblings. I only planned a relatively short one today because I don't want to go mad in the immense heat we've had recently, but it is a bit of a breeze today, so it's not quite so bad. So, yeah, I'll show you the view and I'll head off. So, yeah, it is a little hazy out there. Looking down into Haversidge, you may centre screen be able to pick out uh, Wynn Hill Pike, Loose Hill, but it's pretty shrouded in the in the haze. Right, let's keep going. <laughs> Got over an hour to to me right here. And yeah, the views are a lot better than last time I was around here. That was uh, back in February where I brought me uh, partner and kids to see the snow fell in the Peak District. All of this view, you couldn't see any of it because it was really low mist cloud in the air. Yeah, if you make it out through the haze, you can see uh, Stanley Edge running along there. And obviously, I've already pointed out Loose Hill, Wind Hill. Yeah, so despite the haze, the views are definitely a lot better than last time I was here. Alright, keep going. Okay, so I'm stood now right near Higator or Higator perhaps, <laughs> I'm not sure. But I'm not going there first. I'm heading in this direction and I'm going to take in uh, Carl Walk Fort and then follow the path from there up to Higger Higator. Alright, let's keep going.
top of uh, Carl Walk Fort. Once possibly a defensive site in the Iron Age. And according to the notice board back that way, possibly uh, reconstructed as a defensive feature. I think it said in the Roman period as well. <clears throat> but yeah, not too long ago, I think Andrew Beavers, you come to play, mate. And a bit before that, you've had Ian Lawrence, uh, Ian's vlogs. He was with uh, Andy Rag and his lad Tom. And I think it was Shane Winfrey was with them as well. I uh, don't think Shane's got a YouTube channel, but Ian and Andy Rag definitely have. So I'll stick them in the uh, description below. Right, so I've had a good little look round already. And I'm going to head now for my lunch to the top of uh, Higator. I'll bring you back on top. Right, just on my way to. I think it's all, so I'll show you a bit of the old Cold War defensive wall. Pretty impressive. Right. There's my path, let's go. Higator now, just down here you can see Carl Walk Fort, and just on the end there, I don't know, you probably can't make it out, but you can see that defensive wall I was showing you earlier. But yeah, from up here, you can really see why it was chosen for a defensive position. Pretty impressive. But yeah, I've had my lunch up here, I've had a little explore around some of the rocks. So I'm going to keep heading off across the top of uh, Higator up to uh, Upper Burbage Bridge and then make my way back via Burbage Rocks. Right, let's keep going. So I'm just walking along now. I think this path's called, uh, well, it's along the edge of Fiddler's Elbow. So just under one kilometre. And I should be at uh, Upper Burbage Bridge. It's a bit of a shame it's so hazy still. I was hoping it might have, might have cleared up because I've not been able to capture the horizons as nicely as I'd like to. Only having a camera phone means you don't always get the clearest of images in these low light conditions. Right, I'll bring you back at the bridge. Right, so made it to Burbage Bridge. There you go. I'll just turn around. Just about make a Cold Walk Fort and just poking out there, Higator. I'm obviously carrying on just up this path here and then following Burbage Rocks along.
Okay, so I'm up on the Burbage Rocks now. Awesome. I was in two mines whilst I was back at the bridge though, whether to take this, uh, the high path up on top of the rocks, or this one you can see snaking off into the distance, but well, as you know now, <laughs> I opted for the high one. Why not? The views might not be coming out so great on the camera, but yeah, they're definitely better in in real life anyway, in my own eyes. All right, keep going. Back through the gap between Cold Walk and High Guitar. Yeah, straight past these trees here, through that gap there. path between Cold Walk Fort and Higator. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to retrace my steps, I'm going to head back to the car park via Over Owler Tour and Mother Cap. Right, bring you back when I'm there. Right, I'm just stood next to the uh, rocks that surround over our tour. I'm not going to go up on top. I was actually looking for a section of rocks. I had my picture took on with the kids and we'd come in the snow, but I'm not sure if it is this section. To be honest, I can't really find the spot, but then it all does look a bit different without the snow. I'm going to carry on. I'm going to make my way to Mother Cap. Okay, I'm stood now. What's marked down the map is called Mother Cap. I'm guessing it's just this bit of expanse just here, but the views are pretty awesome from up here. We've also got this rather impressive lump of gritstone there protruding out. <laughs> right, not very far back to the car park from here. 200 meters, maybe 300, not very far. I'm going to head my way back down there and I'll bring you back at the car. On my way down, just found this uh, gritstone turtle. <laughs> it's just like, like the one I found on Kinder and this one doesn't, this one's missing his shell so if anyone sees his shell, he's here ready and waiting. <laughs> So back at the car now after a really great walk, about nine miles ish in total. Uh, yeah, taking in Millstone Edge, Carl Walk, Higator, Upper Burbage Bridge, Burbage Rocks, and then back again. Yeah, awesome time. 
really enjoyed it if you watched this far thank you very much thanks to everyone for liking commenting subscribing to my channel it all means a lot and yeah until next time catch you on the next one goodbye